I've been in Workers' World Party for a considerable number of years, and I'm talking about 25 years and more. Sam Marcy has left an, an indelible impact on our lives as communist organizers. We may have been drawn to Workers' World Party for various reasons based on our social strata, status, and experiences, but what has kept many of us in the party for the most part has been the revolutionary vision and optimism of Sam Marcy, as well as other founding members no longer with us, like Dorothy Ballin and Vince Copeland. There is no question that Sam was a Marxist theoretician on the highest level with, its, with his objective revolutionary interpretations of the writings of Marx, Lenin, Engels, and Trotsky. But Sam was more than a theoretician. He, was not, he not only viewed Marxism as a tool to explain an historical or existing development at home or abroad, but he was so brilliant in, in anticipating economic and political events because his analysis was always on target. Sam was big on anticipating world events and finding an appropriate way to respond to them. Like for instance, when I was looking over some of his documents, he actually reprimanded the Socialist Workers Party in the 1950s when he was still in the party for not anticipating the uh, McCarthyite witch hunt due to the SWPs not taking a communist view of the socialist camp at that time, especially the Chinese Revolution. Sam wrote Perestroika, the book, in anticipation of the collapse of the Soviet Union and the socialist camp over 20 years ago. This collapse played itself out as a counter-revolution, as we all know. And while many world struggles and movements were either decimated or put on the, on the defensive by this development. Because of Sam's foresight, our party was not caught off guard and therefore did not succumb to this devastating world assault on Marxism. Sam also anticipated other important developments, such as the capitalist restructuring of the economy and its social impact on our class, outlined in his important groundbreaking book high-tech, low pay. And Comrade Gary is going to be commenting more on Sam's contribution to this uh, development, this phenomenon in his remarks on the paper. And this book reproduced in 1985-86 helped to lay the foundation for Fred Goldstein's low-wage capitalism book that came out just months before the big outbreak of this unprecedented global capitalist economic crisis. So now fast forward to the present with the Occupy Wall Street phenomenon, which has completed its third week. Occupy Wall Street is breaking the mood of pessimism and paralysis that the workers and the movement have been suffering from for so many years. Occupy Wall Street has ignited a spark around the country in large and small cities, urban and rural centers. Now, since Sam was so able to anticipate and respond to many events, large and small, would he have been shocked by the Occupy Wall Street phenomenon? I think not. Because Sam understood more than anyone else that youth have historically lit a fire under many significant struggles coming out a period of reaction, the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement with the sit-downs in the South, the Black Panthers, the Young Lords, and the budget cuts and austerity measures as we have seen over the past few years. The big difference between those periods and now is the devastating economic crisis. Because the workers in the U.S. didn't really show any signs of life in those previous epochs because their standards of living were relatively stable. But now, due to the global financial crisis, there has been a dramatic qualitative change. 
While the destruction of PACO began a long period, period of defensive struggles for the trade union movement, Occupy Wall Street has the potential of helping the trade unions go on the offensive, and that is to take on more political struggles as they struggle for economic survival. Sam would have been the first to say that the youth's idealism is just the first step for it. That isn't, but that isn't enough to hate the symbols of capitalism like Wall Street.